Hi guys, welcome once more to Brain Smash. In this video, we're gonna explain more in detail one of our past videos, which you can check right here. And we're also going to be working on paper today. I want you all to enjoy the video and subscribe. So let's start. Our first starting point in our circuit are going to be the three times one kilo ohm resistors. These are needed for each color that our RGB LED strip has. The resistors will then each be connected to the base of separate transistors. Remember that this will be our TP41C, and the emitter from every single transistor will be connected in series to ground. Now our RGB LED strip has four connections. R for red, G for green, and B for blue. And the input power 12 volts. The connections should be marked on your RGB LED strip. We'll run a wire from each transistor collector pin to a connection marked by a letter in our LED strip. Don't forget to have a 12 volts power supply connected to the input power and be sure to connect all grounds from the circuit. In Arduino, connect digital pin 11 to the resistor that is linked at the red color in your LED strip. Now, repeat the same for digital pin 10, but this time for the green color and digital pin 9 for the blue color. I have my resistors and transistors connected, but I still need to run a wire from a meter to ground. And I still have to include my LED strip. I have a couple of wires connected to each of my inputs, R, G, B, and 12 volts. We connect the color inputs to the transistor's collector. It doesn't matter to which transistor you connect each cable right now, as long as there is just one per transistor. Also, we will connect the 12 volts input cable to positive in our breadboard. Make sure to check the wiring per the schematic, which you can also find in BrainSmash Instagram. Continuing with Arduino now, be sure to revise the position of your digital pins. It's time for us to connect our digital pins to the base pin of our transistors. Remember, digital pin 11 for the red color in our LED strip, digital pin 10 for the green color in our LED strip, and digital pin 9 for the blue color in our last two. And finally, our last component of our circuit. This will be our sound sensor, which has three pins. Input voltage, output, which is the signal from the sensor, and ground. We'll connect the input voltage to 5 volts, sensor ground to Arduino ground, and output to the Arduino analog pin A0. Also, be sure to connect the ground from all of our components or it will not work. This is my sound sensor. I already connected three female to make cables and now I will make the connection with Arduino. To do so, we will connect ground to ground, input to 5 volts and sensor output to A0. Be sure to keep checking the schematic from our Instagram for any doubts in the connections. Now we'll connect the Arduino ground to our breadboard ground. Let's take a look at our LED strip. You can see that I have this connector attached to the strip. Now you can do the same or you can solder your own wires from the gold looking solder points that it has. Those points are the solder points from which you can solder a cable or a connector as in my case. Remember, you can either solder a couple of wires or a connector. And lastly, our power supply. This is the power supply that I bought. It's a variable power supply that varies from 3 volts up to 12 volts. And it has this nice connector at which I can screw a couple of wires to it. I can make it a really nice breadboard friendly power supply. Pretty useful. Now, connect your 12 volts power supply to positive in your breadboard. This is where we connected our 12 volts 
let's do the input power previously. Time to verify the connections. This will save us a lot of troubles when we finally power up our circuit. In my case, I will be powered on my Arduino with this cable, straight from my computer to the connector onto Arduino, as well as uploading the software which you can find on Branchmash GitHub. Connect your Arduino and see the lights go on. Perfect, if you are seeing this, everything went as planned. If not, check your wiring per the diagram and code available at Benchmash Instagram and GitHub respectively. When we tap our sound sensor, it will register an increase in frequency and amplitude in the air. So, we will adjust our sensor to be highly sensitive. To do so, take a screwdriver and turn the screw that it has until you see a LED in the sensor turn off. Be sure to test your sensor as you turn the screw. I think the sensor is sensitive enough now, so instead of tapping, we're gonna try with some music. Finally, some of you guys had some troubles with this project, so we'll do some troubleshooting to help you all. First, if the strip is only on red, then check the cable from the sound sensor. Make sure to connect them according to the diagram found on Branchmash GitHub and Instagram. And revise your last strip wiring too. As you can see, simply by switching the input voltage cable from 5 volts to ground can make the last strip turn red. Putting the cables as they correspond will fix this problem. Another issue that you guys had was that your LED strip is very bright. For this, make sure that your 12 volts power supply is giving you 12 volts. The requirements of voltage and current in these types of projects can make a difference between a fascinating complete project to another one that is still giving opportunities of hardship and work. So make sure to have your power supply at 12 volts and to be giving the appropriate current. For this piece of the last strip that I have, approximately 2 apps on current will give me no issues at all. You can use different power supplies for both the last strip and Arduino. Just make sure to have the ground connected between them. If we have our power supply at less voltage than 12 volts or less current than needed, even if we have the voltage, this will happen. Your last strip will not be as bright as it should. If we put it again on 12 volts, you can clearly see the difference. We hope that you have liked this video as much as us. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to put your comments down below. We value all of them, and we read every single comment that you guys leave. So please, guys, remember, stay safe, stay happy, and brain smash out.